Hey, what's up, everyone? So, do I have a story? You know the uh, the disappearing objects phenomenon, where things vanish and reappear. Well, I have a uh, a shower bag that I keep all of the important shower stuff in, and the uh, I keep it so I know exactly where it's at, and the shaver as well. So, I had that in the specific bag and mama thought I lost it I thought I lost it but then I kept saying to myself no I didn't I didn't leave it anywhere I didn't lose it I kept knowing in my mind that I didn't weeks passed by more weeks passed by and all of a sudden th that last night I'm demanding whatever please return this I'd like the car keys to be returned as well but they have not been the car key and the uh, it's another set thank goodness we have another set for the truck keys and the vehicle key, the house key, I mean car key and house key, but the uh, the Nissan, the truck, and the house key, we have another set for, thankfully. So, I had this, I had specifically put it in my suitcase that I carry around with me, the vehicle keys. They're still gone, and the shaver reappeared last night, but let me tell you what happened. Let me tell you when it reappeared. I was demanding whatever return my shaver. And then I, I got so sleepy. I was so sleepy, so out of it. And I, I fell asleep on the couch. And as I woke up, I was coming to, I could see this these kind of large, see-through... It They looked plastic-like, but it was like... Clear fairy wings. No joke, honestly. Now, you all know I've seen this stuff before. I've seen small orbs of light, small fairy lights, gnomes, gnome beings. And no, honest to the Lord, I'm not hallucinating and I'm not joking. But I saw this. These wings. They weren't angel. They weren't angelic wings. They were like fairy wings. Sound like Mr. Crocker now. Fairies! Fairy godparents! Fairies! I know you have fairies, Timmy Turner. I know it. I'm going to prove it. But this is true, though. This is legit. I saw this thing, and it was it had reached down, and it was pu putting pulling a hand away from the suitcase that was next to me on, in front of the couch. And I woke up seeing it and blinked my eyes, kind of squinted them, and just kind of... Turn the light on, and as I and then I just kind of went. Ah, I'm gonna lay back down. I'm just gonna turn over and go back to sleep. I fell back asleep. Twenty minutes later, I wake up, and to my shock and surprise, my shaver is laid down in the suitcase next to me that had been missing for weeks. Actually, a couple of months. It's been missing for a couple of months, and there it was. So whatever that was had returned the shaver. The razor, the uh, the razor, the Philips Norelco, and guess when it did? The day that I ordered one on sale for twenty four ninety nine, twenty five dollars on Amazon. The day after I ordered one on Amazon, the shaver decides to be given back to me. They decide to make it reappear. Yeah, <laughs> and it appears in the suitcase right next to me. The pair of keys is still gone. There's, it's still gone. The truck keys and the Nissan key and the house key. Thankfully, I have two other house key copies. And one of them's on the set of the uh, the vehicle keys. The uh, extra set of vehicle keys. Excuse me. But the... Uh, main vehicle keys have the buttons, the lock button, the panic button, and the unlock button on the, which the unlock button doesn't work anymore on the Nissan Xterra, but the other one does, the truck, the GMC, so yeah, there's that, disappearing items, reappearing items, mama had a remote for her TV, and it was gone. So I had to give her a, a, an extra of mine that I had ordered online 
a couple of years ago. And she used that for a couple of weeks, and suddenly she looked exactly where she'd already looked before, and there was the TV remote. Like, laid down like, here you go. Yeah, no kitty. That loud traffic on the main road is ridiculous. She looked over like, is that necessary? Do you have to be so loud? But anyway, yeah, that's what, that's what happened. I have some ME residue coming up next to, show, to share my next video. I'm going to try to watch the presidential debate in nine minutes. I'm going to see how that goes. Um, yeah. Hopefully, uh, hopefully things work out. And hopefully everything works out for the betterment of this, of this nation and world. Lord willing. But anyway, I just needed to share a little bit about what's been going on. More of the craziness. This large fairy type of thing was floating over me and moved over the wall back into the kitchen area. And I opened my eyes looking at it like, okay, I've seen that before, seen that type of stuff before. And you can see it's like a translucent, transparent, whatever, a transparent being. And I've seen that stuff before as I'm waking up. And it's like, it's almost like when you're in between asleep and awake when you're waking up that's the real existence it's like you're finally seeing through the veil that the veil is thinner when you are when you're waking up or when you're asleep sleep paralysis is not pleasant at all i went through an encounter many times through my life i went through many encounters but one a while back several months ago where i was it was really bad. I don't even want to describe that. It was like I was being attacked and I was in another place that was very unpleasant. Three places at once. But that's long ago. My father witnessed that happening to me and he was telling me to snap out of it. And as I was pulling out, I was being jerked back into my body, back down. It's like there were arms and hands reaching up for me just trying to drag me down. It was unpleasant. It took me hours to get over it. And it was about 3 o'clock in the morning that that had happened. And I woke up after 3 o'clock in the morning. Usually 3 o'clock I feel best, but not that day. But the uh, items disappearing. Disappearing items phenomenon. Disappearing objects phenomenon. It's something else. I'll tell you, it's something else. It gets... It, it, gets, to be, it gets to be something. I'm hoping that the keys return. Also, please, hope and pray that my mama gets to feeling better. There's been some good fortune. Some As far as uh, this week, finally, uh, well, I'll explain in another video, but finally a couple of good things happened. Nothing that's really going to get us out of any type of a rut or all that but it helps us stay afloat uh, it helps us stay afloat for a couple of weeks and know that things are okay for a couple of weeks you know when you're getting by from paycheck to paycheck week to week that's the way life goes but yeah that uh, that disappearing items phenomenon or objects phenomenon gets very 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 annoying we've got a lot to do tomorrow we do. We have a whole lot to do tomorrow. So let's pray. We pray that we get the strength, send energy, positive energy, that we get the strength we need to do it. There was, uh. There's some ME's, ME residue I want to share next. I suppose I'll be watching the debates and see how that goes. He's just. The, pre the president's just 50 miles away from us. 50 miles south of a, of where we are. So. Roughly 50 miles. So close, but yet so far. But anyway. Just thought I'd share a few things going on. Like I said, ME Residue up next, and I'm going to try to see if I can watch it. Maybe I'll put a thumb drive in the uh, capture box, or capture whatever. The cap I've got the Fire Stick plugged up to the capture device. It's like a box. 
and uh, maybe I'll put the thumb drive in and, and record the debates from the internet. But anyway, yeah, there was something I wanted to say, but I couldn't remember what it was. Anyway, peace, signing out. Pray that my mama feels better, though. I do want to say that. I can't remember what else I was going to say, but the most important thing is pray that she feels better. She gets so achy into her hip. Her hips don't want to move. The, uh, the nerves and the joints and the muscles start hurting, and her hips give way on her, and she can't move her hips or her legs. Sharp pains happen. And the sciatic nerve gives her problems. She's done everything you think of to help, to try and help, and nothing helps. Doctors don't help her. She's been to different ones in the past. None of them help her. They want us to go through some expensive work and tests, and we can't do that. Yeah, we just can't do that. We can't do that. So pray that she feels better, because she can't hardly put one foot in front of the other, and then she's so swollen and achy, and I just, I want to see my mama live for, you know, I just want to see her feel well, and be here for as much existence as possible. Alright, I love you all, and signing out, thought I'd share that disappearing items phenomenon update.